Okay, welcome back to Spider Bait uh, for the second part. Uh, in the first part, I showed you uh, five keyword hotspots that you should be looking at in order to optimize uh, your website listings on the search engines. Um, I'm going to carry on with uh, hotspots or keyword hotspot number six, and that is your keyword meta tag. Now, a keyword meta tag usually sits right under your description meta tag. And at one time, the keyword meta tag was essential for letting the search engine spiders uh, know the, the sort of the keywords a web page was optimized for. Um, keyword meta tags look like this. So as you can see, again in the yellow, it says a large selection of yoga gear, yoga mats, and yoga masters DVDs. There's um, a couple of tools that I use to to decide which which keywords I'm going to go for, um, the first one is freekeywords.wordtracker.com, and the second one is adwords.google.com forward slash select forward slash keyword tool external. Both of them are absolutely brilliant because all you do is you type in your keywords, um, and it actually lets you see how many searches um, people have been have been looking for those keywords. So it's worthwhile, you know, using these tools to help you decide on which keywords you're going to use to optimize your website. And here are a few guidelines for writing spider-friendly keyword meta tags. Um, the first is to list two or the two to three keywords that you're optimizing that particular page for in order of importance. Um, secondly, separate the keywords with a space, comma, or space, but avoid words like and or but. Uh, which take up room and you know they're usually ignored by the spiders anyway and thirdly don't overdo it on your keywords um, you know if the search engines think that your keyword spam spamming you know you're going to run a risk of being penalized and if you if you do use Google just go on there go into the back room and you know they actually tell you what they're looking for and all you need to do is just to follow what they're saying you know you get people out there selling stuff saying oh yeah you know how to cheat at Google blah 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 well you know if you get caught using that you're just going to have your your websites and your listings removed off off Google altogether so it's not really worthwhile doing that if you just follow exactly what Google tells you to do you know there's no chance of, of being penalized then okay hotspot number seven is your sales copy now in the search engine's eyes your web page content is a very important element of your website and this is because the search engine spiders crawl through your site looking for text that tells them how to categorize your material and the spiders um, also check how relevant your site is to certain search terms so you'll want to make sure that to um, so sort of like pepper your top performing keywords throughout your sales copy in certain places now the optimal spots to put these keywords on your web pages are at least once in your first paragraph of content, uh, two or three times if possible. Um, at least once in your last paragraph of content, again two or three times would be better. And also a few more mentions in the body of your content if you can get away with it. And in addition to your main keywords, you should also use slight variations of them. For example, you know, if your keyword phrase is legitimate home business opportunity, be sure to include similar phrases such as, um, I don't know, le let's say legitimate home business opportunities or legitimate home business opportunity or even work and home business opportunity because not only will your content read better, the search engines will love it as well. And finally, I just want to um, point out that you should only try to optimize each page of your website for two to three keywords maximum. And that includes your main keywords and one or two secondary keywords. You simply won't be able to do an effective job if you try to optimize your site for too many keywords or too many different keywords at once. However, you can optimize each page for your site um, or off your site for two to three different keywords. And I, I really do recommend that you do that as well. So this is going to take a little bit of time and effort on your part, but the resulting flood of qualified traffic that you'll get from the free search engines will seriously, seriously be worth it. And if you just carry on with this video, I'm going to show you how to, to do this in Dreamweaver MX. Um, and Dreamweaver will actually help you to do this, so it's well worth just carrying on and watching the tutorial. So I'll catch you shortly. Okay, you've just seen how to uh, 
insert keywords where you should be inserting keywords to optimize your web page for the best results I'm going to show you how to do this on Dreamweaver MX now if you're not too sure about HTML code or you're uncomfortable using it there's actually websites out there that will do this for you all you need to do is to go into Google and type in the words meta tag generator and there'll be a number of websites that come up where you can just insert your keywords and your description into the various box and what these websites will do is to generate um, a block of HTML codes that you all you have to do is to copy or highlight copy come on to Dreamweaver up to um, code and then um, come up to where the head tag is and all you then need to do is to paste it into your source code I've done this just to show you um, and as you can see there's my head tag up there and then underneath there I've got title and then the different um, meta tags underneath that so I'll show you how to um, sort out your alter tags for your image so I'll just come back onto the design and if you'll just come up to the top here this is my main image header so what we need to do is to come down to the properties box and you can see here there's the alt box so just click on the, the box to the right and type in your heading make sure that you've got your um, keywords inserted in there so the the spiders can pick up on those and then underneath there I've got my main header so if I just highlight this and I'll show you what's, what I'm going to do so again come down to the properties box and on the left hand side you'll see format so this is where Dreamweaver inserts your H tags for you so as you can see there's different heading numbers so being the main header you need to click on heading 1 so Dreamweaver will actually insert your H1 tags around your heading for you underneath there it's my subheading so again I'll just highlight that coming down to format again and as you can see in there I've got heading 2 so Dreamweaver will insert my H2 tags for me and just underneath there I've got another image and you can see in the alt tag I've, I've just written something else that in, includes a few keywords as well so that's how easy it is to actually insert um, coding uh, meta tags into Dreamweaver MX so I hope this has helped you a lot if you want um, some more tips and advice or indeed some products that will help you push your business forward uh, you can go to www.wave-marketing.co.uk or www.product-developer.co.uk some great products there go and check them out I hope this has helped you immensely and until next time thanks for listening and take care